ready, ready, top that box, and Mr. A, turn this down, watching the Josh Taylor and the old Harry Davis, this is the only fight I knew the outcome on the card, um, he, he being Taylor, congratulations, he beat, he beat, um, he put a clinic on him, a, a boxing clinic, and when he chose to, he he really, he I think he could have made this a lot worse, to be honest. I think he could have beat O'Hara wor worse than he did. I'm surprised in the fight that, this is my second time watching the fight, I'm surprised O'Hara tried to be the aggressor. And, and like I said, in the keys to victory, in the breakdown, I had Josh. Ooh, what a low blow! I had Josh being the fast hands. He had to move, work the jab, which he did. He moved to his right. He did. I just thought Taylor would be. I mean, um, Taylor, yeah, Taylor would be the aggressor, and somewhere on O'Hara would, would counter somewhere in between that. But uh, it's clearly watching this fight, and clearly for the second time watching this fight, O'Hara cannot fight an elite fighter on the front foot. Because the way that stance of his, when he misses, everything is open. He crouches over, he'll miss a right, his whole body is open for a, a shot. He, he, he'll crouch, he misses with the left, his whole, oh, this is a, he, when he misses, he leaves everything, the way he stands, and th he leaves himself wide. Taylor really could have really ruined O'Hara Davis's career tonight. I know that sounds extreme, but with those flaws, look, look at these hits in round five. It's, he's, 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 he's heavy leg. His legs go straight. You know whose legs go straight like that sometimes? Adrian Broner. When when you get him in trouble, he just, his legs go straight and he leans on you. That's what this fight kind of reminded me of. It reminded me of a Sean Porter versus Adrian Broner. Where you thought it was going to be fireworks, and all of a sudden Sean Porter just really changed your opinion about Adrian Broner. Josh Taylor really changed my opinion on O'Hara Davis. The awkward style and that power thing, it's flawed. You know, he can't, like Chris Eubank Jr., when he throws punches and he, flip, and he pauses and he throws those punches, it's... It works for you, Bang Jr. O'Hara's O'Hara Davis Davies. It doesn't work for him. It like it like it's not for show for him. It's how he fights, I think. And you Bank sucks you in for a show with it. He knows how to mix it up. O'Hara, when he misses, it's bad. It is bad. But yeah, Josh. Uh, let me just give to what it is. Uh, Josh Taylor did a beautiful performance. Like I said, I, I said someone was going to get knocked out. I knew someone in this fight was going to get knocked out, but I thought O'Hara would be a back foot counter puncher. And Taylor let, let him show him to do, you cannot handle me. Fleet work, impressive. Switching on angles, impressive. Dancing around the ring to his right, show the ring IQ. It was just a beautiful, beautiful performance, you know? It was excellent. I give, I give Josh Taylor all the credit in the world. This was a, a great job. You know, I kind of feel I'm angry at myself. I, I, I don't know the trainer's name, but I love that trainer. Um, that's the only reason I felt bad for David Hay when he lost against Tony Bellew. I think that trainer is good. I, I, I like the work he does with uh, Carl Frampton. You know, I saw I saw him train Josh Taylor. I like, man, I feel bad when I said oh, Harris was going to get the knockout, but uh, I think it's McWiggy or something like that. I don't know. But I like him. I like that trainer. I've been watching him for a couple of years. But yeah, Josh Taylor, I give this a almost an A-class performance. The duck and punches. Like I said, when he duck punches, he just, he, he unleashed on O'Harry Davis. The only reason I don't give this like a full solid A, I think Taylor let up. I think, I think he could have, like I said, to me, he took round one off. I know he's filling them all. He's filling them out, but he took it off. 
because uh, around two, you nah, start feeling, but around three, you just start pouring it on him. And what's sad is he stopped him in like six rounds, but basically he stopped him within like four rounds of work. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to even mention the main factors. He uh, what, round four was it round four. Uh, O'Hara took a knee right like a second before the fight. The round was over. That's like, dude, come on, dude. But I guess I get it. Fighters are hurt. Take a knee. Uh, and then round six, he just dropped him, and then and then he quit. Like, oh, I turned his back. I got my eye. Yeah, he just made him quit. He didn't knock. He didn't knock him out. He made him quit. No, no corner stoppage. You did it the right way. Dude. You made the fighter quit. Congratulations, Josh Taylor. Good luck into your career. This is Double RT Boxing. Mr. A, please subscribe. What do you think of this fight? Another prediction I get wrong, but hey, I get the next one right. Right here on Mr. A. Mr. A, right, right here on Double RT Boxing. There it is. It's hot in California. It's real hot. Sorry, guys. Ooh, please subscribe.